What's up guys, it's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ and today I just wanted to respond to a question I got from a subscriber a while back and that is how is it to train alone versus training with a group of people and the reason why this came to my mind just now is because I just got done with the workout and on my peak set of bench I really almost missed a rep and I didn't have a spotter so that forced me to go a bit easier on the subsequent sets and that's really what I want to say is that I think for the bench press that it becomes a big problem because I've noticed that I progress far better in the bench press when I do have someone giving me a handoff and someone spotting me and I've tried benching in a power rack and personally I've just never found that to be comfortable because usually the pins are just a little bit too high or just a little bit too low it's really hard to find that comfort zone so I think it affects it a lot in the bench press but for me on the squat and deadlift I personally prefer to train alone to be honest because personally when I'm training with a group of people usually people want to talk too much and what I found is that a lot of times when people train with others they just use the same weight that their friend is using and this might not be a big problem at first but then you look at over the time span of let's say a year if you're just doing this and you're not very precise with your loading that can have a pretty significant impact so overall there are pros and cons on both sides personally what I would say is that it comes down to you and your personality now me, I'm an introvert, so I personally prefer to do things alone. I find that I'm more focused, that I'm more energetic just being alone and training on my own. Now someone else may get their energy from people around them. They may be more motivated when they have someone with them, training with them, doing the same movements, doing the same lifts. So that may be a better scenario for you. The key is to find out what works for you and not be shy about just doing whatever it is you want to do. And for some reason, it seems like in college and high school, you know, kids will have pressure to do everything together, to do everything with your friends. You know, I remember in college when I would go and work out by myself, you know, people would always want to jump in and want to work out with me. And it just really didn't like it. So I'd just go whenever I wanted to go. And if that's what works for you, then you need to do that. You need to understand what's going to make you progress quicker. And like I said, that could be either working alone or working with other people. I will say that if you are going to work out with other people, make sure that they're a like-minded individual. I see this all the time where someone who's trying to be more serious then works out with someone who's just looking to get a six pack. And that's really not gonna work out because you want people who are in the same state of mind. And you could try to make it work and sometimes it will for a little bit, but then eventually it just won't work out if they're not serious about training. And a lot of times people underestimate how much people around them have an impact on your behavior. For example, if your best friend likes to just drink alcohol, smoke weed, play video games, that's going to impact you indirectly in some form or fashion. It just eventually happens because you have that temptation to not be motivated and your just discussions daily are different. If you're around someone who's always motivated either in terms of work or in terms of training, or in terms of school or anything, someone who's always motivated is just gonna have different types of conversations which will impact your mindset. You could be very successful training alone just by yourself, and if you are going to train with other people, make sure that they are actually motivated to get some work done in the gym. That's it guys, make sure to like the video, support the channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys, peace.